Hello everyone, this is Siddesh Kumar Utke, working as Assistant Professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering, Walchan Institute of Technology, Shulapur. Today, we will be discussing on programs on C++, the second part. In the last video lecture, we had discussed about how to write a program using function definition within the class and how to write a program using function definition outside the class. So today we will be discussing some applications of that thing. Learning outcome. At the end of this session, students will be able to understand and write programs using basic concepts of object-oriented programming. Now we will be just checking how to write a program to find the largest of two numbers using class. It includes a concept called nesting of member functions. So what do you mean by nesting? I think you have heard about a nest, the bird nest. It consists of branches. And also we have seen nested ifs, in which one ifs contains another one more ifs. And this keeps on repeating based on the conditions until we achieve the target or the conditions, whatever they, the given. So the same thing we'll be calling a function within another function that is nesting of member functions. So in the last video lecture we had wrote a program C++ program which includes the header files the same thing will be applying to this program it also includes the header file called hash include IO stream which means input output stream header file then using namespace std it means namespace is used to increase the scope of the identifiers std stands for standard then i'll be declaring a class with class name called set1 then i'll be opening the class bracket then i'll say i'll declare then i'll declare the two variables m comma n as I want two numbers of data type integer then public is the access specifier m comma and are private member variables so the default access specifier is private so public is the access specifier for functions then I'll say void input this is the member function declaration then void display it's a display is the function Okay, I'm declaring one more function to get the output on the screen. Then there's a that the last thing I want to find the largest of two numbers using the largest function. The written type is integer. It will return some value. Then I'll be ending the class. Now I have to define these functions. So while defining the functions outside the class, I think we had used the scope resolution operator in the last video lecture. So the same thing will be repeated. The written type of the largest is integer and it belongs to class called set1. Scope resolution operator, largest function. Then I'll say, what is the largest function doing? It's finding the largest of two numbers. So I'll put a condition if m is greater than or equal to n, then it will return value called m else return value n then I'll be ending this function then I'll be defining one more function called input its return type is void it belongs to call class called set1 scope resolution operator I'm defining the uh, function outside the class then again I'll say input what is the input function doing it's getting the input values of m and n so i'm using the cout statement then afterwards that is the insertion operator what is the insertion operator doing whatever the text or the string is typed after this insertion operator will be automatically displayed on the screen then i'll be using scene then extraction operator m extraction operator n then the last thing is defining the display function. Its return type is void. It belongs to class called 
set one scope resolution operator then I'll be using cout statement so the largest value is largest function I'm calling endl operator you can use slash n and endl based on the condition slash n can be used in a string that is within the double inverted commas endl can be used after the string you can't use slash n after the string as it will pop an error then after this the main function from where the actual execution of the program starts integer main then I'll be putting an object set one a it means a is an object created it's an instance of the class called set one then I'll be calling the function input a dot input then afterwards a dot display function then return zero I'll be ending it so when I say a dot input I'll put the values called two and three so 2 is greater than or equal to 3 is it true no it's a false condition it means 3 will be the output displayed on the screen finally now pause this video for a few seconds now try to write the above program using function definition inside the class we'll be checking on one more program that is write a C++ program to define a class employee having members employee ID employee name basic salary and functions accept and display calculate DA that is 25% of basic salary HRA equal to 800 income tax equal to 15% of basic salary then display the pay slip using appropriate output format so what are the inputs or what are the data members that are the employee ID, employee name, basic salary? What are the member functions? Accept and display. So for this, again it starts with the header files. That is the hash include IO stream, input output stream. Then using namespace std, namespace for increasing the scope of the identifiers. std stands for the word standard. Then I have to clear it. What is the class name? Class name is employee. So I'll declare the class, class employee. Then afterwards, open the class. Then what are the data members? Employee ID. Employee ID, basically it's in the form of data type integer. It doesn't have a fractional part. Then afterwards, character E name of 100. So maximum 100 characters can be fetched without space then afterwards float basic salary HRA DA income tax net salary basic salary HRA DA income tax net salary all the salaries will be in the form of floating point format it means it will have a fractional part it doesn't have a integer part then afterwards public is the access specifier so this all the functions are accessed by only the member functions so this all the data members that is employee id character e name float basic salary are accessed by the member functions so which are the member functions accessing it that is the accept details that i am defining this function what is accept details doing it's actually getting the input of the user then afterwards see out enter employee id scene extraction operator eid then see out insertion operator enter employee name then scene extraction operator e name then afterwards see out enter basic salary so here i am using again insertion operator so till this time's insertion operator you can write either in the one format or in separate formats then see in extraction operator basic cell I'm calling this variables then HRA equal to 800 it's a constant value afterwards DA is equal to 0.25 into basic salary I'm defining the formulas income taxes 0.15 into basic cell 
then I'll calculate the net salary that is basic salary plus DA that is duty allowance plus HRA minus income tax then I'll be ending this function accept it is then again void display details in void display details it will display the whatever the output on the screen so it has it should be in the this proper format see out I'll be ending this slash and I have used it's okay because I'm using it within a string double quotes then afterwards see out slash in again employee ID I'll be calling that particular variable then see out slash and employee name again double quote again I'm using the insertion operator e name then see out slash and basic salary again the insertion operator I'm calling that particular basic underscore salary then see out HRA same I'm calling the variable C out DA I'm calling that particular variable C out insertion operator DA I'm calling again the variable C out slash and income tax I'm calling that particular variable I underscore tax C out afterwards I'm printing the final value so this is how I have entered the first member function second member form this is how I have entered the second member function afterwards I'll be ending the class then I'll be using the main function from where the actual execution of pro program starts then afterwards employee e it means employee is the class and e is the object created so if I call e dot accept underscore details so it will take the employee ID name basic salary all this where data will be inserted into that particular variables when I say e dot display underscore details it will calculate the values and display it on the screen then return zero these are the following references thank you